Ready. Prepare for liftoff. Welcome to K1 Agenda, episode 123, September 9th, 2022. This week has been uh, very busy as always. Um, I'm looking very forward to uh, the very next episode where I can finally say my little girl, my youngest, Kaylin, will, will be... Uh, be Mrs. Stevens, which uh, means she'll be getting married. So uh, by sep on September 15th, she's getting married. I'm looking forward, so forward to this wedding. We're gonna have a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of family, friends, a lot of her friends and everything. And I think she did a good job of planning this wedding. So I'm looking forward to it, um, giving her away. Um, man, I couldn't be uh, more proud of her. And um, just, uh, I miss her as far as, uh, you know, not being around me as much as she used to be, but you know, she in good hands with Trey. Trey gonna take good care of her, and uh, I love these two guys, and I wish them all the best for their wedding that's coming up next week. Um, let's uh, let's continue on. Um, I did finally last week. I did release the artwork for PBX 36. That's the Fragments EP. Um, special color white vinyl to go along with the release it's my first ever picture album cover with me on the album cover with all the different albums i've done it's just a picture of me um that i did and uh all the as always if you know anything about me you know i do all my artwork and um all the stuff in the past for di different and various groups that i've been in um this one i'm very proud of because it's all mine it's all my stuff um it's coming out the, the official release will be October 21st, 2022. Um, I've gotten so much great feedback on it. It's been amazing. I mean, a lot of record stores have already ordered. We're almost out of it already. Um, so please, any of those distributors out there, if you um, vinyl distributors, you better pick this up real quick. Um, I'm, I'm 
probably already this week going to put in a new repressing of it. So please pick this up. This is my brand new release that's coming October 21st, 2022. That's Optic Nerve Fragments EP. Also, brand new and just released about a month ago, uh, um, PBX 35 Unidentifiable EP with the amazing, incredible legend that he is, DJ Mako, and also K1 on the other side. This is a collaboration on my Puzzle Box label. I'm so proud to have Mako be a part of this. I look at him as being someone who has uh, taken Electro to a whole nother level, not only um, with the music, but um, him DJing and his, um, his quiet demeanor. He, he's not a big talker. He's just a person that just shows you with his music and his DJ. I like that about him, and I'm very proud that uh, we're friends and that um, he's somebody that I can talk to, and uh, he calls me, and we, we just talk, man. Just a uh, great guy, man. I wish I could be a lot more like him. That's not my uh, DNA. I speak up a little bit more, but, hey, that's just how I am. But, Mako, I really uh, admire you for your for your for your work ethic and the way you do everything. But I'm so proud to be on this release and have him on here. Check out his track, Take which it is called the, the People. Check it out. And also, check out my track on my computer, K1. K1, 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 K1. to say last episode was episode 122 please check that out it's where I started my um, once a month um, interview of important people other artists and just people who are um, who, who are uh, very um, charismatic and um, um, motivating people uh, and but my very first interview is with catch Harrington of strand and that's uh, on the last episode. That's episode 122. Please check it out. It's a very good interview with Catch from Strand. Also, check this out, everybody. Remember, don't forget about it. Don't sleep on us. Coming back in 2023, what we're putting together will be awesome. The new Alien FM coming in 2023. That's me and Black Tony, Alien FM coming back in 2023 so get ready also remember uh, my k1 dates uh dj dates have been delayed to 2023 i'll be going out in 2023 uh, uh we'll be getting a booking agent and we'll be putting up our uh, information about that at the end of the year so uh get ready for some k1 dj dates um to promote puzzle box and promote everything that i've done and everything i've done in the past also if you are ready to book live and that's optic nerve the Optic Nerve Experience, the Optic Nerve um, Techno Show, email Connect Bookings, and that will be Daniel at ConnectBookings.com, and Daniel will sort you out. Thank you. Puzzle Boss Records. Um, Puzzle Boss Records is my label. It's been around since 1995. That's when it was started. Um, I just want to let people know if you want to buy any of the old music that we have, uh, some repressions and some new stuff that we're pressing, because we're going to be pressing old stuff, as, some more old repressions as well. Please contact distribution at puzzleboxrecords.com and we will sort you out with a wholesale order. Um, first off, PBX34 which is um, K1 Meets Marty Bonds. That's the Cosmic Flight EP, the latest release. Pick that up. It's been doing very well. It's on a lot of DJs' lists, a lot of DJs' lists and stuff, and top 10 lists. So 
I'm very proud of that. That track of Marty's, man, uh, to fly is, is awesome. So please pick that up. Also, PBX TR3, Optic Nerve Trilogy Wave. That's from the uh, Trilogy Wave um, 3 um, uh, EP set. This is Wave 3. It's back in stock, and it's directly from us now. You can buy it directly from us. It was originally um, only being distributed by uh, Rubber Dub Records out of Glasgow, but now we have it back, and we're exclu exclusively distributing it ourselves. And you've got to get that track. The track on there is called The Gateway. It's a very unique optic nerve track I did back in the 90s. Also, pick up PBXC 230. That's the Alien FM double pack. Uh, original double pack called the original broadcast It's repressed and back in stock pick that up also pick up pbx 32 stargazing ep k1 featuring the awesome doppler effect pick that up it's on color vinyl as well uh, limited edition color vinyl also pick up pbx3 face your fate with the great writings of black tony and it's also an acapella on here so pick that up also, pick up PBX 8.5 Electropathics EP, Repressing in Stock Now. That features the track Detroit Parties Rock Like This. Also, pick up PBX 4, the Automaton EP, with the tracks um, Technos, on my mind, Technos on My Mind, Nemesis, and Oscillator. Also, pick up Modular World K1 EP. This is my K1 um, Electro Funk more minimalized pick that up it's called modular world and that's pbx 29 also pick up the third release for um alien fm which is called monochromatic images featuring the vocals from kayla mcknight black tony and k1 pick that up also pick up pbx 31 voice modulation um from the album mad scientist aux 88 presents the mad scientist pick that up um, we will be put, putting out more uh, EPs from um, my releases with uh, AUX88 from that Mad Scientist album. Um, this was a great track uh, done by Tommy Hamilton. Also, PBX33, Strand Meets Optic Nerve. We have a few of those left, so pick those up. It did quite well, but we do have a few more left, and we want to uh, we want to uh, get those out. So thank you. And once again, if you have any questions and you'd like to uh, talk to us about getting these records in your uh, record store and you want to uh, get it wholesale, please hit up distribution at puzzleboxrecords.com. Thank you. Hey, what's up, everybody? I just wanted to let you know that now the Optic Nerve t-shirts is available. Alien FM t-shirts is available. All my designs I did formerly when I was in AUX88, all the designs I did for Direct B Classics, all the Detroit designs I did, you can get them in t-shirts, hoodies, um, baseball shirts, coffee mugs, phone cases, um, laptop bags, everything is available. And you can order this and have pretty good, reasonable shipping because the T-shirts are printed in, in countries all around the world. So please take note. Here's the, uh, the link and you can buy all the material and keep watching out because I have a sale twice a month where it's 35% off everything in the store. So thank you once again for supporting and look for those new designs coming. Thank you. K1 out. Question of the week. This week question, and remember everybody, if you have any questions, please email puzzlebox at puzzleboxrecords.com so I can sort you out with all your answers and um, of any question that you may have. And don't be shy, ask me any kind of question, any question, and I'll be happy to address it. This, quick, which, this week's question, I mean, I love the questions, man, because people pick out some really obscure stuff and some good questions that, um, as an artist, man, people asking questions of things that I probably always wanted you to know, but I never thought to ask it. But this question is, 
Who are your top five electronic music vocalists via vocoder or talk box? Hmm. Oh, that's that's a simple one. I'll say in no particular order. First of all, craft work. Amazing, just con conceptual and the darkness of the voices. Second, talk box. Roger from Zap, man, uh, so funky, and just the ha harmonics of uh, the, his his recorder, um, using um, you know bass uh, mid mid range and everything. Roger, awesome. Also, I have to give it up for another classic artist that people seem to uh, you really don't think about it until you hear his records. Man Parish, Man Parish had um, amazing uh, vocoder styles. Uh, that he used on um, Boogie Down Bronx, which I thought was good. Also, um, Six Simple Synthesizers, one of my best, one of my favorite songs, and I think he did great, great vocoder work. Also, I have to give it up to Anthony Rother. Anthony Rother. Rother, man, has, his vocoder style is amazing, especially live. He's always sounding amazing live. So I have to give it to Anthony Rother. An honorary mention. I have to give to myself as K1. My um, vocoder work, electronic vocals, um, I think uh, holds up really well with these artists. And last but not least, of course, the man, Juan Atkins. Juan Atkins, uh, his voice is, he's used effects before. Uh, he used vocoder on a couple of songs, but his voice and the way he puts effects on his voice uh, is, is like no other man. He's one of the top two. So I hope I answered your question. I think I threw six in there. Um, I, um, and usually I don't toot my own horn, but I threw myself in there because anyone who doesn't know me, go back and listen to a lot of my stuff that I put out over the years. My, my, you can tell it's my voice, and I've changed my voice on several uh, occasions in different types of styles and stuff, for uh, vocoders, talk boxes, that type of thing. So listen, great question. If any of you out there have any more questions, please email puzzlebox at puzzleboxrecords.com and I'll sort you out. Thank you. Old pick video. Um, I went back and dug these out, uh, some great pictures. Um, this one, um, I wanted to speak on with all the stuff that's going on um, with the war, the Russian war, man, and the Ukraine and the Russian war, man, is, is amazing. Uh, and it's, it's amazing that a few years ago, I was I was actually there. Here are um, some pictures from my first Russian trip. I went to uh, St. Petersburg and Moscow. I've been there twice. And I also went to Kiev, and I've been to Kiev, I think, I've been to Kiev three times. Um, with AUX88, Optic Nerve, and I believe, uh, and, and the third time on uh, DJing. Um, yeah, check this out. This is from my very first Russian trip, which was with AUX88. Um, as you can see, um, we, they treated us really good. I think what's the funny thing, I have to put up the first picture I have to put up, is this 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 is a picture of the two people who picked us up in Russia when we arrived it was the funniest thing the funniest thing I ever seen they're standing there with the sign and um, trying to wear something similar to what we wear with the jumpsuits and stuff and um, it was so funny man it was just 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 very weird that they sent these these two uh, girls who were just drivers who really didn't know anything about the music they just have people randomly that's doing a job for the festivals and and the, uh, places that we're playing and um also i remember um, um the one of the promoters um took us out um and i took pictures while i was uh, eating um at the top of this restaurant on top of this building it was really nice and um you know um set up for the show and then um you know not really realized we knew it was a festival it was called uh, present Present Festival, Present Perfect Festival, that's what it was called. And um, I was thinking, I'm like, wow, you know, yeah, we here, it's, it's cool to be here in another country like this, uh, Russia, man, we finally made it here or whatever. We had two shows, one in Moscow and one in St. Petersburg. But anyway, just being there, we thought like, oh, it's just gonna be a regular show or whatever. No, when we, when we did sound check, man, 
and we saw the visuals and what they put together for our colors and the stage and everything it was amazing and we headlined headlined it was it was it was truly amazing uh, we did a great show it hyped up me and Tom we did an awesome show and they and the sound was impeccable the sound was amazing the sound man was so nice. They really even, I, I always liked this because when we used to do sound checks, the, even the sound man, would, they would chill with us and talk, you know, and they really liked our sound. And they were just like, hey man, you guys are cool and we, we're gonna make sure you sound good. You know, it just, it was always cool if you could have a relationship with the sound man. But here's some more pictures uh, of us uh, playing. And it was a great time. I will never forget that. I just find it so weird now after this war is going on that I never conceived or thought about that when we were over there. Oh, and that was, and, and, and Russia and Kiev was the last trip that I took when I was with AUX-88, that was on the, on the second uh, journey to Russia. So this is just amazing. I, I hope that, I, I pray for all, all of all the people in the Ukraine. Um, I met some nice people and um, I just hope that this, this, this war just, 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 just dissolves and just ends. Um, and on that note, I want to say, uh, uh, yeah, I'll be putting you up on a lot more pictures and different stuff from my past. And I, I might even turn this segment into more or less just stories and then stories with pictures. But thank you for uh, supporting and see you in the next segment. Thoughts of the week. This week, thoughts of the week. The word is frustration. Um, frustration. Um, for me, anyone, anyone who really truly knows me, I could um I can really get upset, but you have to really know me because for me, frustration is a great thing. And I'll explain. Frustration is a great thing for me because it's not only do I get when I get frustrated, it really motivates me. The more, <laughs> the more upset I get, the more motivated I get to correct it and get things done. So, it's a frustration, people. It's not always a bad thing, man. It's just a thing that can that can. It's a reset button. It's just like pushing a reset switch and be like, okay, now I know what I got to do, and I'm about to make it happen. And for me. It's, it's a great thing. Everybody gets frustrated, and then everybody tell you, oh, you know, don't don't get so upset about little things or whatever. But you know, when you're sort of a perfectionist, um, and I wouldn't say that I'm so much of a perfectionist. I'm more of a person of um, appearance. It's like I want people to know when you're dealing with me, you're dealing with a guy that's gonna take care of business, gonna answer you back, and just you know that when you call on me, it's everything's gonna be taken care of. And if I'm a part of anything, it's always gonna be that way. If I'm involved in it, I wanna make sure that everything looks the way it's supposed to be and professional. So, people, I will just tell you, don't get upset when people say, oh, you're frustrated all the time. Don't get frustrated. Hey, man, use it as a reset switch to move on and do the things that you need to do. For me, it just motivates me and it uh, takes me up times 10. Thank you. Thoughts of the week. Shout outs. Once again, uh, my brother will be 58 years old. Um, wow, uh, next month in October. Um, and I, I want to just say, um, uh, check out the picture. If you've seen my brother, you know him, or in a relationship with him, or know of his whereabouts, please contact me at PuzzleBox at PuzzleBoxRecords.com so we can catch up with my brother. We haven't seen him in a while. He does this from time to time, and we're. Uh, going to stay positive and uh, hope that people can reach out and uh, uh, mention to him or find him on social media so we can get my brother back home and uh, to see uh, seeing my parents because we're not any of none of us are getting any younger also this week I want to say uh, spend a, a, I always say a special shout out to my mother 
and father. But this week I want to send a special shout out because as I'm doing this video, man, I'm, I'm excited because they'll be coming here in a few days. They'll be here for a whole week and I haven't really seen them. Well, I did. I saw them last year. I went to see them when my mother was uh, my mother was uh, ill and she was in the hospital. But um, they're going to be coming here for my daughter's wedding. And they're going to be staying a week, man, just to relax and chill. And I'm so excited about seeing them. And I just want to tell everybody out there, man, you know what? Time is not promised. You got to spend time with your parents. I'm looking so forward to just hanging out with them. And I am one of those guys. I love to hear everything there is to know about them from their past. Like what it was like for them growing up. I love hearing those stories. I want to hear you know, about relatives, you know, old relatives, my bro my uncles, my my uncles, my aunts, all of that stuff, my grandparents, all of I love that, man, and I can't wait to find out even more about them, because every time I talk to them, I learn more and more about what they've done, what they've had to do, what it was like for them to move to Detroit and get out of the South and, you know, uh, prosper, man, get their own home, cars, all of that type of stuff, man, that drive, which is in me. So I'm looking forward to it, man. They're coming. They'll be here uh, next uh, Tuesday. Love you guys. See you then. I will be at the airport waiting to pick y'all up. Love you. And uh, my message, when I, I kind of got a little lost. My message is, man, cherish all the time that you have, man, with your parents because you'll never get another mother and father. You can get someone who just just about as close, but I'm just saying, um, I love them, man, and I, I aim to show them how much I, I appreciate them, and I'll be calling them today. Love you guys, and uh, see you next week on episode 124 of the K1 Agenda. Hey, I just wanted to say, everyone, please hit that subscribe button for YouTube, and please subscribe to my page. Um, I really have enjoyed all the support I've been getting, but hey, like this and subscribe to this page. Keep Tucker K1. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you.